Hi everyone and welcome to episode 4 in our swimming tutorial series. In the previous three episodes we got our character to swim around a water volume uh, with animations all tied to it. But we didn't do anything with graphics. So what we're going to look at doing today is how to add water to your landscapes and so you can swim uh, in your worlds that you're making. So before I got started here I just quickly made a landscape here with what would be eventually the body of water and what we'll be doing today is doing a method that is used by several games but most notably probably the most biggest famous example of this being used is in Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild. So the way this is going to work we'll make two landscapes so one has got land and one is water. So if I make another landscape and go do that you go to manage change from selection tool to loo landscape and we're going to click on rotation here we had the location so we had changed the z value to minus one uh do minus 2000 like so so you want it just below the whole entire landscape okay it could be far below it doesn't matter really where and once we've done that we'll click create so now we've got two landscapes we've got one that's land and one that's underneath like so and what we can do is we can use this sculpt tool to bring up a little bit of land like so. So this land will be our water. So we're going to bring it to a height that we want with the sculpt tool. Um, let's say about there. Then we're going to change it to the flatten tool and click and drag and it will flatten the whole surface to that height. So we just click and drag around to get the height we want. Like so. Um, around there. Like so. So underneath it looks like this, where you've got water being pulled up from the landscape below to the surface, and that is just going to be a water uh, material on it. So uh, for this, I brought in the ocean floor content that was in available for free in the marketplace for the month of November. And in there, they've got a nice ocean material. I thought I'd use that. So I'm going to select my landscape, just drag that onto there. And there we've got some water. So now if I go play, I can now walk onto this landscape. Okay. So how do we walk through it? Well, we click on our landscape and on the right hand side details panel, you want to find the section about collision, uh, which is here. Now the base default preset is block all. Change that to custom and for everything in, you want to put tick everything in ignore. So tick on ignore and that's it. So now if push play, your character should walk right through the landscape. So what's left is to set up our water volume. So to do that, it's just a physics volume. So uh, volumes, find your physics volume. And the trick is just to, first of all, move it beneath the waves. And I always say get the height first. So get like that and change the Z value. It doesn't matter if it goes below the, uh, the ground. The main thing is that you want the top of it just to skim just below the surface like so. What you've got then you can just expand your X and Y to be as big as you need it to be. Making sure that the whole of your water body is inside that box. So you can see that line is still showing there. So I just need to increase my X a little bit like so. And that should do it. Once you've done that, all you go do now is scroll up and tick water volume. Hit play. And now when I walk into my water volume, I switch to swimming. And hey presto, I can now swim around in my underwater landscape. And that's kind of it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. In the next episode, and probably our last one, we're going to add on a post process to add us a effect on the screen to make it look like we're underwater um, and yeah now that should tie up the end of our swimming series
Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions or queries, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that little notification bell to be uh, caught up with the latest videos. If you want to see the next part right now, you can head over to my patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely. Donate just $1 and you get access to all those videos plus more um, for showing your support for me. And that's it, just $1. So thank you very much for everyone who is supporting me. Um, you guys are making this all worthwhile and, pos and possible. So thank you again. And um, that's kind of it for me. So thank you and good night. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.